Hello everybody, hola a todos, cześć wszystkim. Ok folks, in previous videos I showed you how to configure a lot of goodies in Keycloak. We saw realms with custom password policies, enforced MFA, realms with uh, single sign-on using SAML to zero or single sign-on using OAuth2. In the last video I showed you user federation uh, using LDAP uh, directories. In this video, I will show you how to secure apps with uh, Keycloak. You may remember that in the video about setting up custom password policies and MFA, I showed you how to use Keycloak JavaScript uh, client. A full list uh, of what Keycloak calls client adapters is available in the documentation, in the securing apps sections. Um, you can see the full uh, list of supported platforms and languages to, here. As you can see, uh, OpenID, um, SAML to zero, and in terms of uh, languages, it's uh, Java, JavaScript, uh, uh, C Sharp, uh, Python, uh, mobile, iOS, Android, uh, quite, a, quite a lot. Uh, in my second video about Keycloak, uh, I showed you how to use JavaScript uh, client library. Uh, it's uh, very well documented and it's super easy to use. Uh, there's also a test JavaScript application written by Keycloak folks uh, available at uh, keycloak.org slash app. Uh, as you recall, uh, this is the app which I used in my previous uh, videos. So please check out uh, that video see the YouTube uh, pop-up uh, or check out the link that will be available in the description of this uh, video. I'm the owner of an open source project uh, call, uh, called Migrator. Migrator is a project which handles database migrations uh, for you and supports databases like PostgreSQL, MySQL, MS SQL out of the box. Migrator is super fast and super lightweight. Uh, it's written in Go, supports multi-tenant DB schemas, uh, and of course is microservices ready. Comes with a Docker image that is uh, only 15 megabytes uh, of size. You can read more about this uh, project here, and um, I will add the link uh, in the description as well. So, Migrator. Uh, exposes GraphQL interface but has no authentication and authorization layers. Following single responsibility pattern, this is actually a very good design. Let other frameworks uh, or tools take care of the authorization and uh, authentication. So we would like to add authentication and authorization on top of Migrator. Take a look at the architecture of uh, our solution uh, here. As you can see, the great part uh, can be anything, really. I'm using Migrator as a few months ago. I wrote uh, the tutorial showing how to add authentication and authorization using Keycloak. Um, so I already had an existing tutorial at hand, but I will repeat it one more time. This can be any application your own application, so some sort of uh, build cluster, internal services, uh, operational dashboards, uh, anything you want. The core of the solution is uh, HR proxy, um, which is uh, here. Uh, HR proxy will handle authentication and authorization for us. I will reuse a great open source project from HR proxy folks, you can find the URL in the description under this uh, video. Uh, that's the project uh, that I'm referring uh, to. Uh, I used the scripts written by uh, these guys to bake a, a Docker image with HR proxy with Lua support. Uh, I also modified the Lua script to uh, handle Keycloak roles. Uh, but you know all the credits uh, goes to to these folks so check out uh, their repo as well 
And now back to our solution. We will get the JSON web token from Keycloak and pass that to HR proxy. HR proxy will filter all incoming HTTP requests. You cannot access uh, Migrator directly. The only way to access it is via HR proxy. You cannot bypass it. So uh, we have uh, two options available here. Uh, the first one is using a popular OAuth2 proxy service, which transparently authenticates user uh, using OAuth2 uh, and uh, OpenID Connect uh, protocols. In this example, of course, you are using Keycloak. Uh, this service is uh, mostly used for browser-based uh, access. Uh, JSON web tokens generated by Keycloak will be added to OAuth2 proxy cookie and OAuth2 proxy uh, will securely and transparently pass uh, JSON web tokens to HR proxy uh, in the HTTP authorization header. You can view the source code um, of this tutorial to see the configuration uh, details. It's, it's very easy. Uh, the second approach shows how you can work with uh, Keycloak directly uh, or programmatically or using tools. You can get the JSON web token from Keycloak and then append it to every HTTP request in the HTTP uh, authorization header. So uh, what you have to do is um, to clone this repository and then navigate into uh, tutorials and into oauth2-proxy-oidc-hfproxy. That's where the source code for this uh, tutorial um, is. First, uh, run the Docker Compose uh, app. It will take some time to build the HR proxy with Lua, so take your time. Uh, once uh, you have everything up and running, we will uh, perform some tests. In this tutorial, I actually import an existing realm, uh, OAuth2 client definition with uh, roles already added to JSON Web Token. By default, they are not uh, added to JSON Web Token. Uh, and of course, I added predefined users and roles, so everything is uh, ready for you. You can check out the uh, Keycloak uh, documentation, which covers uh, import-export uh, functionality. Let me quickly show you how the HR proxy configuration looks like. Okay. So uh, HR proxy will be verifying the issuer. That's our issuer. Uh, HR proxy also has a public key of this issuer so that uh, we will be verifying that the JSON web tokens were signed by our trusted uh, issuer. When it comes to the access logic, um, it's, uh, it's here. So uh, I will be denying all requests to V1 API. Uh, I will be denying all requests without uh, authorization header. Then uh, all requests will go through the Lua uh, verify script. If uh, the verification was uh, unsuccessful, for example, um, the token expired, uh, there was an issuer mismatch, uh, signature wasn't uh, correctly verified, uh, then uh, authorization flag will not be set and I will be denying uh, all this uh, traffic. Um, I will um, allow access to v2config only to the role, to the users, who have migrator underscore admin role. Access to v2 service endpoint 
will be available to only users who have migrator user role. Let's quickly take a look at Keycloak. I will open the URL to Keycloak. I will log in. in. And uh, let's verify that the users were imported. Yes, uh, they were. We have two uh, additional users. M admin is for migrator admin. M user is for migrator standard user. Let's check this one, for example. So M admin has migrator admin and migrator user roles. That's fine. Let's also check that in clients um, we added uh, roles. In uh, mappers, uh, I can see that uh, indeed there is a rel role added. Uh, that is actually a mapper which is uh, um, provided out of the box, but you have to explicitly add it to mappers, otherwise, realm roles won't be. Uh, added to JSON Web Tokens. Okay, so everything is ready. I will sign out. And uh, now we are ready to do the tests. So in this uh, example, uh, we will go through OAuth2 proxy, uh, which will authenticate to Keycloak and uh, transparently uh, pass JSON Web Tokens to HR proxy to get us access to Migrator. In uh, my uh, example, uh, OAuth2 proxy is uh, deployed uh, and available at gateway.localtest.me. So I will open it. Yeah, I'm not logged in. So there is a button to log in with Keycloak. I will actually copy the username password is just password yeah it's not secure we can ignore the warning so, but yeah we were logged in into keycloak and then the generated json web token was passed by the oauth2 proxy gateway to hr proxy and then to migrator and we received a successful response from migrator Let's check what will happen if, using the standard user, I will try to use the v2config endpoint, the one which is available to only administrators. Yeah, forbidden. That's actually expected. And uh, it means that our access logic is working. Um, so I will leave this point uh, to test uh, by yourselves, uh, a small spoiler. Uh, when you will log in as admin, you will actually be able to see v2 config uh, endpoint. But uh, in this video, I will show you uh, also the second uh, option uh, of accessing uh, our application. Get the JSON web token from Keycloak, append it to HTTP request in HTTP authorization header, and send it to HR proxy. HR proxy will verify it and if successful will talk to uh, migrator so uh, you can copy the comment that I have prepared uh, here so we'll execute it let's check that the access token is there yeah it is and now I will add this access token to the authorization header and will invoke the v2config um, endpoint. Yeah, and I got a successful response from the v2config uh, endpoint. And uh, that's uh, really all for today's uh, video. We added authentication and authorization on top of existing application using JSON Web Tokens. We used HR proxy with Lua, uh, where we transparently 
filter and verify all HTTP requests. And we also used Keycloak as our identity provider. Please uh, check out the uh, other videos in this uh, series. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.